Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Whilst we have football teams like Arsenal, who are too busy distancing themselves from their players, like Mesut Ozil, who is standing up for a Muslim cause, that's right, that of the Uyghurs, yeah, in East Turkestan that are being oppressed by the Chinese, or if they're not doing that, they are trivializing the causes, like that of Muhammad El Neni. He posted a pro-Palestine tweet on his Twitter and Arsenal called him in for a little chat because the sponsors Lavazza weren't happy with that. Yes, and they somehow managed to link him with anti-Semitism and or racism. But then again you have teams like the FA Cup winners, Leicester City, yes, in which we saw two players that were unapologetically holding up the Palestinian flag and parading it around. Yes, that's right. And when it came to Leicester City, they had nothing to say. Yeah, there was no consequence or no reprimand on those two players. And then a couple of days ago, yeah, literally one of the friends of the people who gave the flag to Paul Pogba and you could see Paul Pogba coming, getting the flag and then with the young talent Ahmad Diallo, they were holding it up proudly. But what's amazing is, yeah, Paul Pogba did all of that and we know the precedent that Arsenal has set, not a very good precedent. In the interview, the manager was asked about the actions of Paul Pogba and here's, here's what he said. We have players from different backgrounds, different cultures, different countries and I think we need to respect their views uh, if they differ from someone else's and uh, uh, if my players think about other things than football that's a, that's a positive thing. Yo, mashallah, this was Phenomenal, yeah, a massive club like Manchester United saying, you know what, it's up to them what they do. And guys, with what we are seeing now happening in Palestine, Israel is moving forward and refusing to back down and, and killing kids and civilians. This is the time guys to be rebellious, yeah. We rebel against all sorts of individuals like God, yeah, our parents, our teachers and all of these individuals are trying to help us. Yeah, if you want to rebel, rebel against the powers that are oppressing people. Yes, rebel against the system that is giving more preference to the rich as opposed to the poor, to the affluent rather than the needy. Yeah, why don't you be a gangster or a thug when it comes to these things or a rebel? Yeah, or you know, rise up against these things. We only tend to rise up against the people, like you see people sitting like this in the class and speaking back to the teacher and disrespecting their parents and not praying their salah. I mean, what's the point? Yeah, all of these systems and individuals are trying to help us. Yeah, you want to stand up? Yeah, I'll tell you who the real thugs are, yeah, and the gangsters are. I'll go through the list, yeah. Be like the protesters of Palestinian action. Yes, that's right. They found out that the largest arms exporter to Israel is a company called Ilbit. Yeah, they provide the most arms to Israel and there's one located in Leicester. These OGs, these rebels, these revolutionaries went there, climbed up, caused a ruckus and disrupted that whole issue. Next this lunchtime, protesters have staged a demonstration on the roof of a Leicester building which is involved in making combat drones. The group called Palestine Action claims that units built at the Israeli-owned Elbit factory at Meridian Park have been used in the ongoing conflict in Gaza. Every one of you watching, you should know E-L-B-I-T, Elbit. Yeah, you should know these companies. Or number two, you want to be a rebel? Be like the rebels that were called in the fire trucks and told, you know, take these people down, yeah? Take them off. And they said, no, we are not going to comply. Refuse to comply. Or be like the Italian port workers who were supposed to put the arms into the ship so they can be shipped off to Israel to kill and maim these Palestinians. They refused to comply. Refuse to comply. That's right. I Italy is, I think, in terms of uh, the arms importer, I think the most 
the country that gives the most arms to Israel is America. It gives 70% of the arms from the exports go from America. Yeah. Number two is Germany, number three is Italy and number four is the United Kingdom. Yeah. So Italy is third. So they knew, they knew what's going on in their country. They refused to comply or be like the reporters in the mainstream. Here you got a Don from Sky giving it all that mate and you know what's going to happen after this interview. You're not going to see that guy again mate. We have to we have to call things out when, when we see it. That The level of brutality that we've seen by the Israeli police and I've seen it through the week and again today uh, where they just go into peaceful and I'm talking genuinely peaceful Palestinian communities like the Damascus Gate, people sitting around quietly not doing anything and suddenly the Israeli police will come in and they'll lob stun grenades. It, they call it crowd control but it's a crowd that doesn't need controlling. We've put this to the Israeli police. You did it the other night with Mickey Rosenfeld and they say oh we're investigating, where, where police are doing something wrong we'll investigate. I can tell you Mark that when, when children are killed by the Israeli military in the West Bank I have gone back to the IDF numerous times. How's that investigation going? And they tell you it's still ongoing, that, that you never get results from them. Or be like the school children. Yes that's right the school children who proclaim free Palestine and they get suspended for a day. Or be like AOC who's in the American Congress and she is trying to block the export of aid to Israel that they use of course to bully and maim the Palestinians. Yeah, you want to be a rebel? Yeah, you want to be a gangster? You want to be a thug? No, don't be like 50 Cent and Eminem and these guys or these underground rappers who rent the women in their videos and rent the chains and then go after they've done the video and they're acting all bad, then they go back to their homes raising their kids and life goes on. Yeah, not these fakes. Yeah, because if they were really rapping about who they killed, they'd be in prison like Bobby Schmurder. You know what I'm saying? You want to be a rebel? You want to be a thug? You want to be, a, you wanna be an OG? Why don't you be like the influencers and the celebrities that are standing up? That's right, when they know their careers can be under scrutiny and under risk and they can be called anti-Semitic. But guys, it's people like this that we need in this moment in time. Because a person who doesn't stand for something will fall for anything. Can't stand up for the oppressed? Then you are an existence, you are a life that is wasted. It doesn't stop at the Palestinian cause. I've said this and I'm going to say this again. It's the Uyghurs in East Turkestan, the brothers and sisters in Kashmir, in Yemen, in Burma, Iraq, Afghanistan, you name it. Whatever it is, yeah, you stand up for what is right. May Allah give us the ability to do so. And don't be like this guy who plays for PSV. This pathetic individual, yeah, PSV the football team, when Pogba put the flag up, he tried to photoshop it with the Israeli flag. Yeah that's the only way, that's the only way these people can uh, show people like Pogba holding up the Israeli flag when it's, I wouldn't even dignify it with the word photoshop. It looks like something that's been done on a Microsoft Paint mate, yeah? That's how pathetic it is. Yeah, and you got this guy openly supporting an apartheid genocidal ethnic cleansing state. We have people like this, yeah? Don't be like these people who act all bad. Yeah, some people act all bad but no substance. Some people, you see these people standing on top of Ilbit. Look, look at this woman. She's got, you, she's got a cut here. She looks old enough to be my auntie mate. You know what I'm saying? And this legend of a woman is there getting smack up whilst you and I are poncing about. Thinking, oh what do we do? We can't do anything mate. The least you can do is at least bloody boycott some of the products. You post some statuses, educate yourself, follow the news. Oh I can't see that it's too, it's too much. All right no problem but speak to people that will help you balance yourself. I know when you watch this stuff and you're not being balanced it is difficult yeah. But guys do something yeah, do something when it comes to these causes otherwise what face are you going to show your kids? You're going to show a face that your kids are not going to want to copy. Alright guys let's leave it there, enough jibber jabber until next time. Assalamu alaikum.